All right, guys, today I'm gonna to be sharing 10 shortcuts that I use to speed up my workflow. All of these shortcuts can be done with your left hand, which means you never have to move your hands off the keyboard and it speeds up your workflow so much more. I personally use these shortcuts in DaVinci Resolve, but I will also show you how to use them in Premiere Pro. Let's get right into it. First, let's show you how to create a keyboard shortcut. So you wanna come up here, click on DaVinci Resolve, come to keyboard customization, and that's gonna bring up this whole keyboard. All you need to do is then come to whatever key you wanna set. So for example, like R, and then you can come to a command and type in read time curve. And as you can see, I already have it set. You can just delete whatever was already there and then replace it with what you want and hit save. For Premiere Pro, you come up to Premiere Pro, hit keyboard shortcuts, and it's the exact same thing. I could just type in whatever I want, replace this, and put in that, and then hit okay. So now that you know how to create a shortcut, let's get into my favorite. So one of my favorite shortcuts is the slip tool and selection tool shortcut. Um, these are actually two different shortcuts technically, but they are both playhead options that I cycle between. So I figured I'd include it in one. So first up I have T set to the trim mode and A is normal edit mode for the playhead. So as you can see, this means I can move anything in the clip uh, and keeping the same in and out points. So I'm basically slipping what's inside and then I can just hit A and that brings back the cursor. So I find myself going between these very often. So if I'm here and I only want to slip part of it, I can just move it like this and then go right back to A. But what's great about the slip tool is I hit T and then when I come to the edge, it changes. This means I can ripple trim anything. So if I only want to take off the edge and make it shorter, this clip next to it will stay connected. This was much better than if I was on the cursor and then there would be this gap. Um, it just speeds up the workflow so I don't have to cut this and then bring the clips together. So again, that's just going back and forth between A, so this is the cursor and then T and I can slip it. Um, I use those literally all the time and that's gonna save you so much more time than having to come up here and click trim tools. So you can go back and forth very quickly, all with your left hand. In Premiere Pro, it's the same thing. A is called selection tool. This is called slip tool for T. And as you can see, I'm slipping back and forth and then A is my cursor and I can go back to my cursor. So T, A, T, A. So the next shortcut is ripple delete before and ripple delete after. I also use these all of the time, especially when I'm making selects. I have ripple delete before set to Q and ripple delete after set to E. So if I'm scrubbing through and I realize I wanna start it here, I can just hit Q and that's gonna delete everything before up until this point. And then if I want the clip to end here, I can just hit E and it's gonna end everything after and bring all of the clips that are behind it to that point. So I can scrub through, hit Q, gonna delete there. And then E, it's gonna delete everything after. The alternative used to be, I come here, split the clip and then delete it and maybe delete that space. Come here, delete this, delete this. I can literally make selects with one hand. This is start to playhead in DaVinci, end to playhead in DaVinci. Um, I have it set to the same thing in Premiere Pro. So this is called ripple trim for Q. This is called ripple trim for E. Q deletes everything before, E deletes everything after. And now this shortcut is key. So I have playback shortcuts for one, two, and three. So three is speed up. So I can scrub through the timeline fast. Uh, two is pause, so I can stop it when I need to. So I'm hitting two. And then uh, one is reverse. Those are called play forward, pause, start playback, and play reverse in DaVinci. I have it set to the same thing in Premiere Pro. So three is forward, two is pause, one is reverse. And those are called shuttle right, shuttle stop, and shuttle left in Premiere Pro. Next, I have my speed change. That's called change clip speed in DaVinci. So in DaVinci Resolve, I have this set to Command R. I can just hit Command R, type in 40, and then change it, and then we're in slow-mo. Uh, this is obviously faster than right-clicking, going to change clip speed and doing that. Premiere Pro, it's the same thing. Command R, 40. The next one, I actually made a whole video on this, but it is for speed ramping. So that's called retime curve in DaVinci. So all I need to do to speed ramp in DaVinci Resolve is hit R and then I can hold option and create points and then slow down whatever I want. And so as you can see, that's going from fast to slow. This is significantly faster than having to right click, go to retime controls and speed ramp how most people speed ramp in DaVinci Resolve. Premiere Pro, it's a little different um, since there's no graph like that. You have to right click and go to time remapping and speed 
and then you have to hold command to create the points. There's no shortcut that I know of in Premiere Pro, but it's still pretty fast to just do this. So next up, W I have as the splice tool. That's called split clip in DaVinci. This one's pretty straightforward, but for me, this is much more effective than hitting the blade tool. So hitting B and then having to come here and cut with the mouse. Cause again, I wanna try to be able to do everything with one hand as much as possible. So I can just scrub through W, 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 and it's cutting wherever the playhead is. Um, this has also saved me a lot of time as well. In Premiere Pro, I have the same thing. So w is called add edit for the split. So I can just scrub through, hit W, 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 it's cutting everywhere. So next I have S just set to delete. This is instead of taking my right hand off the mouse and hitting backspace. Again, these are little things, but they add up over time. So I never have to move my left hand. I can just hit S and it's gone. Um, and then also with that, I have D set to ripple delete so that I can just delete any clip and it brings it right back to that playhead. I have the same thing set in Premiere Pro. This is called ripple delete for D, clear for S. So I can just hit S, it deletes it, and then D, ripple deletes it. This one I also use a lot of the time. Um, I have shift E set to move all clips to the right. So I find if I'm like editing and then I need more space at the end, you can just select the clip and then hit shift E and you can move all of these clips. Uh, this is another one that sneaky saves you a lot of time, especially in longer timelines and like zoom out and then highlight all the clips and move them over like this. Say I'm zoomed in, I can just I can just hit shift E and slide them over and then create space to do an edit here. Premiere Pro, it's basically the same thing. I have it set to shift E as well. And here I'm just highlighted on a clip, hit shift E and slide all these over. This is called track select forward for Premiere Pro. And then the next shortcut is match frame to source clip. I use this all the time when I'm editing um, because sometimes I need the original footage. So I have it set to Y in DaVinci. This means I can bring up the original clip with the in and out points and say I need the audio, I can drag that in super easily. Or if I need the kind of raw clip, I can drag that back in. And then the other one I use is I have set to H which is reveal clip in project. So I hit H and that brings it up in the master bin. I find that super useful too, in case I need the raw footage again. Those are called match frame to source clip and find clip in media pool. In Premiere Pro, I have it set to J and it's called match frame. Finally, for my last one, um, this is pretty simple as well. And it's just enable and disable a clip. A lot of times I have like layers like this. Um, and I want to see what's beneath it. Instead of like deleting and having to hit Command Z every time, you just hit V and that's going to enable and disable. Um, so that's pretty straightforward on that one. And then Premiere Pro again is the same thing. V is enable and disable.